What's up with you, everybody? It's your man Mario B. And Nicole. And we're back at it. Another reaction video. Mm -hmm. Baby. <laughs> so, this is another special video request from Mars, Mars Blackman. Blackman. Mars Blackman, we support our channel. We thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And he began us some awesome video requests, you know, man. We've been amazing lately. Loving it, man. Loving uh -huh. it, man. Keep them up, man. We love it, man. You, make some, you get some great video requests, <laughs> man. Um, so, the name of this video is The Family Matters When Urkel Infiltrated the Dragon Game. I've seen this a long time ago growing up, man. It's been a long time, man. I know. I'm sure I'll remember this episode because yeah. I used to watch them all the time. But Yeah, it was, it was a real. It's like one of like, the beginning stages of Family Matters. It's probably like. This one was? It could have been like the second season, probably. So, you remember the exact episode? I, I remember the episode, but I remember huh. it's like the second season. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Family Matters was amazing oh, growing up, man. Season, hmm. wait, season you know, two. Yeah, so see, like, I didn't look at it. I knew it was season two. Yeah, yeah. Season two episode. Yeah. See, man, we're going to dive right into it. And thank you for your support, Mars. Yes, thank you, Mars. Another boring day at Rachel's place when, oh, snap, the dragons. Thug's on a mission to make teen spill fries led by a young man rocking a chain <laughs> like a beauty that. pageant sash. Dragon Deluxe requests a table because all this shoving and chain wearing has the team hungry as heck. Eddie tells them to get out before they make this show interesting. And what if we don't? Then I have to get... Very convincing. <laughs> Laura says, get out. But now the dragon leader isn't just hungry, he's thirsty too. His name is Chain, like Sting, Madonna, or future Beyonce. Laura throws up a sass force field, but Chain is into the sass. He invites her to a movie, but when she says no, he goes in for a very sad chin squeeze. Denied. Chain doubles down on that chin squeeze. Very sad. <laughs> Urkel oh, is man. done playing. He Urkel. prepares for an ass beating. More specifically, his. But because Chain doesn't need a murder charge, he has Venti Dragon hang Urkel on Chicago's strongest coat stand. And Rachel wants to know what the <laughs> hell is going on. Chain, mistaking this diner for a dating app, swipes right on another hottie, even uh. if she's a little old. Oh. Oh no, you did not. Rachel says hit the road with that old shit. Eddie has her back. And Laura. And so is my friend Waldo. Waldo is not trying to die. Chain <laughs> says they're being rude. And when you're rude to customers, yeah. you're bad Waldo, Geraldo, Faldo. Whoopsie daisy. Rachel threatens to call the police. The rudest shit you can do. And Chain calls for some synchronized whoopsie daisy. And yeah, Jim and Carl. Carl Carl came in there. Says, get out. Go read Lord of the Rings or watch kung fu movies or whatever the hell. Make you name episode. your dumb gang after mythical winged creatures. Laura and Rachel are telling everyone the uneventful story. Richie's demonstrating how he would have put his size three Velcros up some dragon butt. Ring, yeah. ring. Return of the snap. The dragons fucked Rachel's place. Uh, oh yeah. boy. Whoopsie Daisy City. And these nerds had the audacity to leave a doodle on the wall. Rachel demands Carl arrest these doodling dorks. Carl says he's gonna, but they'll be back on the streets in five minutes when their friends come forward with rock solid alibis that they were watching subs, not dubs, anime uh, at Terry's house. Hmm. So these hoodlums can just do whatever they want and get away with it? Well, I wouldn't go that far. If you had a video camera. I would. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, was Eddie standing outside the door waiting for just the right moment? <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> the dragons yeah. fucked Eddie's face. Uh, boy. Yeah. Says eight of them jumped him after his date with an imaginary woman, then slapped him around like a car in a Street Fighter bonus level. Carl is mad. How mad? Stool throwing mad. He wants street justice, but Urkel says they're going to scream police brutality and he'll lose his job as a cop. Sometimes. Yeah. Steve says he knows a better way. He'll wear a wire and go undercover to record a podcast. Carl and Detective Whiteman will be his first subscribers. The dragons are debating whether to rob a movie theater or a bowling alley because these criminal masterminds have the vision of bored nine-year-olds. Urkel bursts into their basement hang zone slash stolen TV and keyboard depot. He says it's their lucky day. He Look wants to that gangbang lifestyle. And he's not the nerd they remember from eight hours ago. He's crazy. How crazy? Spilling Cheetos everywhere. Crazy. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny. Is Meanwhile, oh. in the mobile podcast studio, Carl and his cop Cajun accidentally handcuff themselves together yeah. in the pairs. Urkel eyes the dragon tag and begins his snitch cast. Did you do that great dragon at Rachel's place? Yeah, you see that? Busted. Oh, and kudos <laughs> to you on the great job you did on smashing up the place. <laughs> well, thank you. Busted. Were you together when you beat up the Winslow Keith? Uh, yeah, it was a team effort. You talk too much. Get up! My, how the busted tables have turned. Chain knows something is up. He used deductive reasoning to conclude one of the two Urkels he met today is a phony. And he's inclined to say it's this leather-clad character <clears throat> asking questions about crimes. Why? Because he's wired. Urkel snitches on himself. He is wired. Come and get him, Carl. Uh, Carl? Eh, big guy. And right when they're about to cut off his dick and feed it to his ears, Carl and Sergeant Mane <laughs> save the day, hiding their handcuffed tough. hands with a very funny walk while who cares. <laughs> and the fam toasts Urkel, because now the dragons will be playing D&D &D in prison for cigarettes. So what did we learn today? For if cigarettes. a gang comes to your restaurant for cheeseburgers, maybe just give them cheeseburgers. Because when you're rude to customers, whoopsie daisies happen. And the ruder you are, the bigger the whoopsie daisy. And mm -hmm. don't talk tough to gangs, because they will smack your shit into next Wednesday. And don't confess your many gang crimes to any bozo 
who walks through the door. And if you're undercover looking like fifth place in a George Michael lookalike contest, do not snitch on yourself. Because the cavalry might wait one second too long and you will get your dick cut off. And never call someone named Aunt Rachel old or she will call the cops. See you next time on a very special episode. <laughs> oh man, that was too funny, man. Do you think, I think I used to think this too, I think that they, I really feel like they could use some of the same sets that they did for like Saved by the Bell. Like the diner almost looks the same. Yeah, they do a lot of those shows. It. Uh, it's just the door is in a different spot. Yeah, a lot of those shows, mm -hmm. it depends if it's under the same like um, studio. I know, It pretty much right. like the same. I have to look that up, but I've always thought that because it's reminding me of the Saved by the Bell. I don't know, they diner kind of look different though. Some, they, like the cafeteria diner? No, like the one that was messed up. It was like the exact same structure, just they came in the size of coming in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of, yeah. might not be the same. Maybe yeah, I think it's different, but. It was my style back then, but. Yeah. But, um, man, man, I just love watching Family Matters, man. It was like an amazing oh, show, man. It was one man. of my favorites, for sure. It was. This it was, and Full House on a Friday nights. Yeah, it was and dope, step man. Step by step. Yeah, man, I wish they would. Um, it'd be great if they re, like redid it again, like started started the show back because like I think they did Full the House. They still, yeah. I think it's going to do its final season, I believe. Oh, is it on Netflix? I, don't know, I watched very few episodes of that. I haven't really gotten into. Yeah, that. it'd be great if they did um, Family Matters again. I mean, I think all the people are still alive except the grandma, so pretty much everybody's still alive. Huh. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it would be. I don't man. feel like Urkel would be the same though. He, he, I think he, he could. He would be dorky, but just not like probably like it he just, was then. He, he just be an older version. Mm -hmm. I think he's like forty years old in real life, so it could be like him and Laura had kids or whatever, and yeah. the, you know, smaller Urkel, and you know, oh they can. I mean, think about it, because they did like what Boy Meets World. They they redid that. I think it's off air now, but okay. it was it was Girl Meets World. So like him and Topanga had uh, a daughter, okay. and you know. Had a couple huh. guest uh, cameos from the other like cast, so they can honestly do it with him and Laura. You know, yeah, they, they had could. kids and That'd be funny. yeah. Huh. But uh, man, amazing Mars, amazing yeah, that was video. A good one. We keep finding some good stuff. Man. Yeah, and it's we definitely family matters. Yeah, man, we definitely appreciate your yeah, support, thank you. man. But we about to go to the end of this video. If you want to send us a special video request. Check out the link to our stream lab, so let me in the description and that video course in advance. Thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. And check out our merch in the description below. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your man, Moyo B. And Nicole. Stay awesome. Peace and love, baby.